Mark Hobson is a UK mass murderer who killed four people in Yorkshire in 2004. Mark Hobson was born on the 2nd of September 1969 in Wakefield, Yorkshire. Hobson grew up with parents Peter and Sandra and two sisters, Melanie and Leslie. Hobson's father was a coal miner and the family moved about a bit around Yorkshire, from Wakefield to Eastmoor and then to Selby as coal mines were closed. Hobson's childhood was described by friends as happy and stable. One of his teachers recalled him as being very well behaved. 1991. Aged 22, Mark Hobson moved in with his childhood sweetheart Kay and her two children from a previous relationship. They got married in 1993 after the birth of their own daughter Alice. Hobson worked at a local power station and also as a landscape gardener. His wife would later describe him as having been the perfect husband. 1998. Hobson registered as a, as a nightclub doorman and began working at Cannes nightclub in Marketplace Selby. 1st of January 1999. Hobson suddenly walked out on his family without giving any reason and began using cannabis, cocaine and drinking heavily. His wife later said, There was no one else involved. He just didn't want to be married anymore. It was bizarre. I couldn't believe it. He turned to pot and drinking heavily. He never drank when we were married, but he started getting out of his face. He became like a zombie. His life just went completely off the rails. 2002. Hobson stabbed a man, believed to be a love rival, five times in the chest in a daylight attack in front of shoppers in Selvey leaving the man with a punctured lung. Hobson admitted grievous bodily harm and managed to avoid a custodial prison sentence, instead receiving community service. April 2003. Hobson moved into a flat with Claire Sanderson. Both were heavy drinkers. Police were often called to the flat to break up disturbances, it was noted that Claire would often give back as much as she got from Hobson. It was a volatile relationship. 10th of July 2004. Hobson killed girlfriend, 27-year-old Claire Sanderson, in the flat that they shared on Millfield Drive in Camblesforth, Yorkshire. She was struck on the head 17 times with a hammer and strangled after which Hobson proceeded to wrap her body in bin bags. A plastic bag had been placed over her head. Forensic analysis would later determine that Hobson attempted to clean an area of the flat with bleach. It was forensically apparent that Claire had been first attacked in the living room and then taken into the bathroom. Although there was no evidence of recent sexual assault, her body had been stripped naked. Seven days later, the 17th of July, 2004, 7.30pm, Hobson telephoned Claire's twin sister, Diane, and told her that Claire was very ill with glandular fever and wanted her sister to visit. When Diane arrived at the flat that evening, she was stripped naked, hog-tied. Ligatures were found on her wrists, ankles and neck. She was then tortured with a disposable razor and scissors and sexually assaulted. All her pubic hair had been roughly shaved off and patches had been burnt. Her lift nipple was completely bitten off. Police believe Hobson may have eaten it. She too was then strangled and beaten with a hammer. The post-mortem later showed that the cause of her death was strangulation. Like her sister, her head was also covered with a plastic bag. 10.30. That same evening, Diane's boyfriend, Ian, rang her mobile to find out why she had not turned up to the pub as previously arranged. 
Hobson answered the phone and was forced to make up a story about the twins' father, George, having suffered a heart attack and the girls had gone to visit. He then calmly arranged to meet Ian Harrison at the Cricketer's Arms in Selby and within two hours of Diane's death they were drinking together. Hobson then invited him back to the flat. Ian immediately noticed a nasty smell in the flat, that of a decomposing body. But Hobson fobbed him off with an excuse about the drains being blocked. Ian also noticed bloodstains on the sofa, which Hobson explained away as Claire's women's problems. Hobson even offered to let Ian sleep on the sofa for the night, despite the twins' bodies being in a bedroom upstairs. When Mr Harrison visited the toilet upstairs, Hobson stood directly behind him to ensure he did not go into the bedroom. But Ian left, still worried about his girlfriend, but it was not until he visited the Sanderson's family home the following morning around 7am and saw George Sanderson there quite well that he realised something was wrong. Ian and George set off back to the house. Saturday the 18th of July 2004 The twins mutilated bodies were discovered by Diane's boyfriend Ian Harrison and the girl's father George Escaping the house just before they turned up Hobson had asked his mum for a lift to the hospital to visit Claire whom he had told her and had an accident His mum unwittingly aided his escape plan 25 miles away in the village of Strensall, Hobson wandered into the house of an elderly couple, James and Joan Britton, both aged 80 and quite infirm. He battered James with his walking stick, then set about Joan with her walking stick. Then as she lay on the floor, Hobson plunged a kitchen knife into Mrs Britton's back with such a force that the blade went straight through her and straight into the floor below, breaking the knife off inside her body. While processing the crime scene at Hobson's house, the police found incriminating evidence, including a shopping list which confirmed the premeditated nature of the twins' murder. On the list were bin liners, tape, tie wraps, fly spray and air freshener, along with a list of people who were believed to be Hobson's potential targets, these included the twins' parents and Mark's ex-wife Kay, who he blamed for taking his daughter away from him. 25th of July 2004. Hobson had spent the next seven days living wild in the woods, but was suffering due to lack of water. He was desperate, so despite the risk of being caught, he walked into a petrol station in the village of shipton by Benningborough, near York to buy cigarette papers, matches and water. The garage owner recognised Hobson immediately after extensive media coverage and a national manhunt. He called the police. Within minutes, police with police dogs were on the scene and Hobson was arrested. When he was found, he told police, I'm a f murderer, aren't I? Shortly before the court case, and while Hobson was... Being held at HMP Wakefield, he was placed into solitary confinement for three months after attacking child killer Ian Huntley, a former school caretaker convicted of murdering two schoolgirls at a Cambridge school. Hobson scalded him with a bucket of boiling water. A prison service spokesman had said that due to the nature of high security prisoners, it's impossible to prevent incidents of this nature occasionally happening. April 2005. At Leeds Crown Court, Hobson admitted all four murders. For the prosecution, Mr Paul Walsley QC said the circumstances surrounding the murders were horrific and chilling. The trial revealed that Hobson was an alcoholic and addicted cocaine user. 27th of May 2005. Hobson was sentenced to life imprisonment with the recommendation he never be released. This puts Hobson on the Home Office list of prisoners serving a whole life tariff. These prisoners are never to be released and never to be considered for parole. 
January 2006. Letters were released from HMP Wakefield where Hobson blamed alcohol and drugs for his killing spree. Thank you for watching. Murder UK is a website dedicated to giving the facts about murders and serial killers within the UK. Please consider subscribing and press that bell icon to be notified when we update new videos. Thank you.